bridge and hip thrusters. So the most basic bridge is just gonna be body weight. So you're gonna lay on the floor. Our feet, as usual, are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Touch the ends of your fingertips and then scoop them just a little bit forward. Arms are planted on the ground and you're just going to lift your hips. When you lift your hips, squeeze your bum together like there's a quarter in between. Lift your hips, relax. Don't touch all the way to the ground, but close. And squeeze. And you're really gonna push off your feet off the ground. So plant your feet firmly and push and you're gonna feel it here and here. Push. And then if you wanna add some weight, you can use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a medicine ball, or any other weight that you might have at home if you don't have access to any gym equipment, you can use any other weight that you might have at home. So I also wanna make sure that when I'm holding my weight on my hips, I'm supporting it enough so that it doesn't fall off my body, but I don't wanna support it enough that it takes the weight off of my hips. I really want my hips to be doing the work and pushing it up, and I don't want my arms or my hands to help out at all. So feet firmly planted on the ground, I'm supporting the weight just enough so that it doesn't fall off. And push up, squeeze your tush. And up, squeeze. And that's bridge. Now, if you wanna use a heavier weight for bridge, hip thrusts are gonna be a better option for you. So for that, we're gonna use our bench and we're gonna lean against the bench. Our feet, as usual, are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. And we're gonna push against the bench and also make sure that our feet are grounded. When we go up into our bridge, we wanna make sure we are squeezing our cheeks. We feel it in our legs, we feel it in our butt. So we have our weight on our hips. Now my hands are just supporting the weight so that it doesn't fall off, but I don't wanna support the weight enough that it takes the weight off of my hips because I want my hips to be pushing the weight. So I'm just supporting it. When I'm lifting up, I wanna make sure that my knees don't go in or out. They are staying secure and straight. They're out at a bit at an angle, but they don't move from that position. When you go down, you relax and up, squeezing your cheeks, feeling it in your legs here. Okay, using a barbell for hip thrust. Personally, the bar really hurts my hips. So I like to use a blanket or a coat or something to help. If you have gym access, most gyms have padding that you can use. I'm just gonna secure this real fast. <laughs> it's a little janky. You're gonna roll it over. So obviously this weight is a lot heavier, so we really wanna make sure that our feet are secure, that our bench is secure, lean back, test it, and we wanna make sure that we're pushing into our feet and our back. I'm holding my cushion secure. We wanna make sure that our hips and our back stay straight so that way we're not bending and arching our back because that can hurt it. And I'm pushing my feet into the ground and down and pushing up, squeezing my legs here, squeezing my glutes. Push up, up, and then when I'm done, drop it and roll it off. Ah. Obviously, when you're using a higher weight, you don't need to do nearly as many reps. Usually, if I'm doing a lighter weight, I'll do like 15 reps. If I'm doing a weight like this, I maybe will do four to five. If you have gym access, a lot of gyms actually have really great hip thrusting machines so that you don't have to use a contraption like this. But if your gym doesn't, or if it's busy, this is another way that you can do hip thrusters with just the barbell and your bench.